Hello, this is Councilwoman Polly Christensen. Welcome to my home. I am going to make a couple of videos um, for the t people of Longmont. Uh, the first one I'm going to make uh, is about pandemics, a very cheerful topic. But I've heard repeatedly, this is unprecedented. We've never had this happen in the history of the world. Well, this is nonsense. We've always had this happen, and we always will. The Black Death of 1346 to 1353, which was bubonic, killed 75 to 100 million people. That was 30 to 50 percent of Europeans. The London Plague of 1665 killed 25 percent of Londoners in 18 months. The 1917 and 1919 uh, Spanish flu killed 50 to 100 million people. That was a third of Europeans. My Danish grandfather died on Christmas Eve. The 1956 to 1958 Asian flu killed 3 million people worldwide, and it killed 116,000 Americans, and I was almost one of them. I was very, very sick. I was lucky my mother was a nurse. The 1968 Hong Kong flu killed 1 million people worldwide. From 1976 until now, HIV AIDS has killed 36 million people worldwide. I lived in San Francisco from 1976 to 1989, and I have not forgotten what a painful and sad time that was. Since then, we've had SARS, MERS, H1N1, Ebola. In the 20th century before vaccine, smallpox killed 300 million people in the 20th century alone. So we've always had epidemics and pandemics. We always will. We've always mostly survived them, and then we've always forgotten because they're very painful. What I'm asking you to do is don't forget. Remember history. Human beings do two things. We move, and we're social. Because we move around all over creation and because we've wildly overpopulated the world, we're always going to spread these things. We fir first just moved around to just get food. We followed the plants, and then the... We followed the animals who followed the plants, and then we ate the plants and the animals, but then we discovered other reasons to move around. So that's never going to stop. That's what we are. Then we're social. We need each other. We need to see each other. We need to touch each other. We need to talk with each other. When you see an animal of any kind that's alone, that's not a well animal, even for people who are introverts like me. We need people. So what we're being asked to do is to curtail both of the things that we are, which is that we move and that we're social. And that makes us very uncomfortable. It's unnatural. It's frustrating. Some people react to this with patience and generosity and compassion. That's the proper approach. And I've been very heartened by how much Longmont, which is full of good, kind-hearted, sensible people, has done this. Other people, because we know what works. This works, universal masking works, distancing works, I mean, low contact, you know, and um, testing, which we don't have enough tests, so we don't have any idea what's going on. But um, <laughs> other people listen to blowhard politicians, whether they're on a national level or a local level, and filthy rich uh, TV and radio personalities and social media personalities who spread hatred and fear and rage. These people are dangerous. Do not listen to them. They're irrational, they're irresponsible, and they're dangerous. Listen to doctors and scientists and nurses and listen to history. We will all get through this if we take care of ourselves and we take care of each other. Thank you.